Only a few years ago, it would take a big investment or high level of skill to build a functional e-commerce website. However, today there are many e-commerce platforms and website builders that offer a smooth and easy to use building experience for absolute beginners with zero technical or design knowledge. Now, some of these platforms like Big Cartel allow you to list your products, build an online store and start selling online completely for free. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along and thanks for joining me if it's your first time here. Now today I'll be walking you through a beginner's tutorial that will show you exactly how you can use the e-commerce platform Big Cartel to quickly and easily build your own free e-commerce website so you can start selling your products online. Now, Big Cartel is designed for small businesses like artists, illustrators, painters and other creative businesses. Also, Big Cartel offers a free plan that allows you to list up to five products, which is ideal for those looking to get started with selling online. Okay, so before we start creating your own online store with Big Cartel, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and navigate through Big Cartel and create your own free e-commerce website. <music> Okay, so first things first guys, what we need to do is sign up to Big Cartel and create a free account. So navigate up to pricing on the top left hand corner. Then make your way down to the three pricing options that Big Cartel provides. Now today we're just going to focus on Big Cartel's free plan. This is sufficient enough for small businesses that have five or less products. And as your business expands and your product range grows, you can always upgrade to a paid plan down the track. So what we're going to do is navigate back over to the free plan and get started. Then simply add your email and password. Then once you've added your email address and you've created a password, come down and add your shop name. And as you can see, for the purpose of today's tutorial, our shop name is going to be called Little Giant Clothing Co. And you can see that the shop URL has been automatically generated based on our shop name. However, if your shop URL is already taken, then what you want to do is come down here and slightly change your URL. Then what we want to do is come down and click sign up. And just like that, we've gone ahead and created our free Big Cartel account. Now, the first thing we want to do on our checklist is add a product. What is an e-commerce store if we don't have any products to sell? So navigate down to add a product. And what we're going to do is walk you through the process of adding your first product. Then simply navigate up to add a product. And the first thing we want to do is add a product image. So navigate over to add an image, simply locate your image and then come down and click choose. Now it's important to note that you can only upload one product image per product with your free e-commerce store. If you want to add additional product images and more than five products, then you will need to upgrade to a paid plan. However, for today's tutorial, we're just going to focus on the free plan. And with the free plan, we can only upload one product image per product. Then once you've added your product image, navigate up to product name and add a product name. And this is the product we're going to use for today's tutorial, vertical bar necklace. Then come down and simply add a description. I've already gone ahead and pasted in a description that I created earlier. Make sure that your product description is compelling and has all the information that your customers need. Next, we want to come down and click on categories. And then because we don't have any categories yet, what we're going to do is click manage categories, then select add category. And we're going to call this category necklaces, then come down and add an additional category if you like. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to add the one necklace category and then click save to save your changes. And as you can see, we now have one category, come down and click done. Then below category, we have statuses. If we click here, we can choose to set this product as active, hidden, sold out or coming soon. We're going to keep active selected and then scroll down and click on pricing. The price for this product is going to be $39.99. Then if we scroll down past pricing, we have options over here. 
These are specific product options. For example, the product color, size, or style. We're gonna go ahead and click add individual options and add three color options. The first is going to be gold. And then I'm gonna add another option and this is gonna be called rose gold. And then the last option is going to be silver. And I'm happy with those three options. Now the pricing is gonna stay the same. However, you can change the pricing if you like per option. You can also drag each of the options into a different placement. And with that, I'm happy with my options. Now, if we scroll down under shipping, we can add a shipping price. The first shipping option is going to be New Zealand, which is where this business is based. Then over on alone, the shipping price of this one product would be $5. And then with others, so for example, if someone purchased another product with this product, then the additional price is going to be $2. Then I could come down and add another shipping option. I could click on country and come down and select everywhere else. So we have an option for shipping around New Zealand and then shipping everywhere else. Alone, the price is gonna be $10. And then with others, we're gonna add $5. So go ahead and add your shipping details. You can also add free shipping if you like. Then below shipping, we have product URL. I'm happy with this automatically generated product URL, which is generated from the product name. Then down here, if you have a US tax code, go ahead and add that down here. What we're gonna do is come down and click save. And congratulations, just like that, you've added your first product. Now, if we navigate up to products, this is where you can see all your products. Remember, with the free plan, you can add up to five products. Simply navigate over to this plus icon to add an additional product. Now, you can also duplicate your existing product. So for example, if I click on this product, then navigate over to the far right-hand side where it says more actions, I can come down and copy product or delete product. Now with copy product, what this is gonna allow me to do is quickly copy this product's details and simply change a few of the details to quickly add additional products. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're gonna do is leave it as one product. We've showed you how to add a product. You can go ahead and add additional products. Take the time to do that if you have additional products. Now what we wanna do is navigate back to dashboard and then come down and you can see that we've added a product. We've added our first product. Below this, we have set up shipping. However, we've set up shipping per product. You can go ahead and create a shipping profile for all your products if you like. However, we've already added the shipping details for our first product that we've uploaded. So if you upload additional products, you can go ahead and customize each product's shipping information, or you can simply set up shipping here. Then below this, we have connect a payment processor. This is so you get paid when someone purchases from your store. Simply click connect a payment processor, and then come down and connect these two popular payment providers, payment gateways, so that your customers can purchase through Stripe and PayPal, and so that you can get paid when your customers purchase from your website. It's a very straightforward process to connect Stripe and PayPal. So what we're gonna do is leave this for now because this is just a tutorial. However, take the time to connect Stripe and PayPal. If you don't have a PayPal or Stripe account, it's free to create both of these accounts. So once you've done that, navigate back to account and then navigate over to dashboard. Okay, so once you've connected PayPal and Stripe, come down to design your shop. And this is where we can start customizing our e-commerce website, our online store. Now, as you can see, this is our basic website at the moment. What we wanna do is make it more attractive. Now to do that, we can navigate over to themes on the left-hand side, click here, and then come down and select a pre-made template. So these are website templates that we can choose and then customize the way that we like. So for example, if we scroll down, I like the look of this template over here. So what I'm gonna do is navigate over to use theme. And this is the template theme that I like the look of. Now to customize this website theme, simply navigate up to settings on the left-hand side next to themes. And this is where we can customize all the different elements on our website. 
So for example, the first thing we want to do is upload a logo. Simply select your logo and then come down and click choose. And just like that, you can see that we've added a header logo. Now, if you don't already have a logo for your business, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above that will guide you through the process of creating a free logo with Canva. So feel free to watch that if you don't already have a logo. Then below header logo, we have welcome image. Come down and select here. However, I like the look of this background image, so I'm gonna leave it as it is. Now, if you're going to upload an image, make sure that it's the recommended size. Then below that, we have colors. This is where you can change the color of your website. For example, the background, the content color. We can change the primary text color if we want, secondary text color, and then we have other options down here to play around with. I'm gonna leave all the colors the same based on the theme that we selected. However, you can change the theme colors if you like. Then down here we have fonts. You can change the overall fonts on your website. Then below fonts, we have options. This is where we can add an announcement text. So for example, if I click here, I could add sale on this week only. And as you can see, that's gonna add this announcement bar up here. Now, if we come back down and under announcement text, we have welcome header. So I'm gonna go ahead and add welcome to, and then come down to welcome subheader and add the business name, Little Giant Clothing Co. And I'm happy with that. You can see that the product has moved down the page. And then if we navigate back over to the left-hand side, we have other basic options. For example, show search. So this is a search field that people can use to find products. We can also enable collection and then other options down here. They're very straightforward and self-explanatory. Now, once you've taken the time to change your settings and edit the overall layout of your website, then what you wanna do is navigate over to pages. And this is where we can go ahead and add additional pages if we like. So at the moment, we only have a contact page. So if we click here, that's gonna take us to our contact page. And as you can see, this is our contact page. Now, unfortunately, you do have limited customization options throughout your website. Again, if we navigate over to products and then we come down to necklaces, which is our category, you can see that we only have one product in our necklaces category. If we select shop now, that takes us to our one product. And remember, we added options. The customer could select rose gold, and then come down and add to cart. So as you can see, our basic online website is complete. Now, if we navigate up to home, we can come down and see all our pages if we like. And then if we navigate over to desktop, we can view what our website will look like across devices. For example, at the moment we have desktop selected. We also have tablet and phone. If I select phone, we can see what our website will look like on mobile device. And this is extremely important because the majority of searches being done these days are happening on mobile devices. So you wanna make sure that your website is mobile responsive. Now, when you're ready to publish your website, simply come down and click publish. And as you can see, your changes are now visible on your shop. Now, what we wanna do is come down to exit and then under account, we can see some basic information about our account. Now, if you want to view your website, all you need to do is click view your shop. Now, at the moment, your website is on maintenance mode. If we click here and turn that off, that's gonna allow us to launch our website. So if you're ready to go live so customers can start buying from your online store, simply go ahead and click launch. This is basically your website URL that you can use to share and promote your online store. Then come down and click done. And then now under your dashboard, once your website is live, you'll be able to see some basic analytics about your online store in terms of visitors, the number of visitors on your online store, the orders placed, your conversion rate, as well as the revenue you've generated from your new e-commerce website. Now, if we scroll back up to the top and navigate back to account, this is where we can go ahead and edit further details in regards to our account. So again, if you want to turn your website onto maintenance mode, you essentially want to take your website offline, you can simply do that here. We can also add details about our account, add shop description, we can add a profile picture, 
then we can come down and we can edit our shop if we like. We can get paid with both Stripe and PayPal. Remember, you want to make sure that your accounts are connected. Below that, we have billing. You can upgrade to a paid plan if you like. Remember, with the free plan, you can only upload up to five products and you have limited features. Then below that, we have shipping profile. Again, I would edit your shipping details per product like we showed you. Then you can edit your preferences here, your security, and then over here you can browse apps and integrations that you can use if you decide to upgrade to a paid plan. Now, if we scroll back up to the top, we have orders. If we click on orders, this is where you can view all your orders that have been placed through your website. Then we have products. Again, like I mentioned, this is where you can add additional products. Then we have discounts. And this is where we can go ahead and add a discount for our online store. So for example, the discount code could be SUMMER123. Then the description is free shipping. And then navigate over to the right hand side and this is where you can select any of these details. So when a customer does something in particular, orders anything, give them free shipping on the entire order. I'm happy with this, starting now expiring never again you can change these details if you like and remember this is the discount code that you can send to your customers or you can use in your marketing and your promotional efforts then when you're happy with your discount code come down and click save and just like that you can see that your discount code was created simply navigate down to the bottom and click back to discounts and up here you can see our new discount code. So remember SUMMER123 is our discount code that we can use in our marketing materials. And that's gonna give our customers free shipping. So just like that guys, that is everything you need to know to get started with Big Cartel to create your free e-commerce website. And there we have it guys, that is it for today's Big Cartel tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value remember to leave a like, subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you next time. Take care guys.